Jesus said to his disciples just moments before he would ascend back into heaven, he said, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. And we are so glad that you are here this morning to celebrate some followers of Jesus being baptized. Yes, you can clap and rejoice for God's great grace in their lives. And if you are considering baptism, you're a follower of Jesus, you've received salvation by God's grace through faith in Christ alone, but you've not yet taken this step, consider that. We're going to have another baptism service later on this month. Some had to postpone, so you can be a part of that. Just contact us, touch base with the welcome desk, and we will get you involved. So this morning, we are going to invite Reva Pakel down here, and she's going to share her gospel story with you. Hi, my name is Reva Pakel, and I'm seven years old. I was five when I trusted Jesus, so it was hard to remember what life was like before I knew him. On April 19th, 2019, I was sitting in the Good Friday service with my parents. It was time for communion, and Pastor Michael was saying that communion is for people that, who have trusted Jesus to save them from their sins. I knew that I was a sinner, and I had not trusted him yet for salvation. But then he said something like, or better yet, trust him today and take communion as part of, God, as part of God's family. So I did. I told my parents that I wanted to trust Jesus to save them from my sins, and they helped me pray. The gospel of Jesus is that he died on the cross for our sins. That's good because we should have died from our, for our sins, which would have separated from us from God forever. Jesus suffered all the pain for us to make a way to be with God forever. I believe in the good news because the Bible tells us, and the Bible is God's word. Jesus has transformed my life by helping me when I pray, and that gives me hope. It teaches me that I can trust Jesus all the time. For example, I ask God to help me with my brother by using kinder words to him when I'm mad at him. Also, I know that God is working in me because I want to tell others about God. The verse I chose is Matthew 28, 20b. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. That verse is meaningful to me because it tells me that God will be with me forever. If anyone here listening has not trusted Jesus as your Savior, you should, because it will be, you will be with the Lord forever, and he loves you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm also joined here by Reva's dad, Brian. Step down for a moment. But do you believe in God the Father, the Lord creator of heaven and earth? believe in the Lord Jesus Christ who came to this earth, lived a life without sin, died on the cross in our place, and rose from the dead on the third day, just as he promised. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who indwells and empowers all who believe? On the basis of your profession of faith in Christ, I'm going to baptize you now, Reva, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in newness of life. <laughs> now we have Sir Liam Arnst here. Hi, my name is Liam. When I was six at school in our Bible class, our teacher was talking about Christ, uh, Christ our Lord dying on the cross for our sins. At the end, she said, if you have not asked Christ into your heart, and if you want to, you can. And then I knelt down and prayed. And the verse I want to tell you is Romans 10, 17. So that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Liam, do you believe in God the Father, the Lord, creator of heaven and earth? believe in the Lord Jesus Christ who came to this earth, lived a life without sin, died in our place on the cross, and rose from the dead on the third day, according to the scripture. Yes. You believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, giver of life, who indwells and empowers all who believe. Yes. Yes. 
him on the basis of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ. We now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in newness of life. And this is Liam and Caden's dad, Jaron, here as well. Come on down, Caden. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caden, and before I knew Christ, I was living a normal life that is for a four-year-old. I didn't think much about the world outside of home and school, but one day my teacher read a verse from Revelation that scared me. I don't remember the exact verse, but it said that the unsaved will be crushed by mountains. I went home and quickly asked God to enter my heart and cleanse me of my sin. Jesus to me is a second father or a mentor when I'm struggling with life, and even the only savior who saved me when no one else could. And the good news is he can and will graciously give the gift of eternal life to you. And many, many people think that the gospel is another form of God, but it is really God's own words about salvation. The verses I chose were John 11, 25, and 26. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even if he dies, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. I believe the Bible that every word is true, because if it weren't, what's the point of even living? God has changed me a lot during COVID. We were shut away from going places, and the online church services were meaning less and less. But at the beginning of this year is when I really changed. My mom introduced me to a 365-day Bible plan. I was having to lean on to the Lord even more, even on a daily basis, and I'm also trying to trying to get more involved in helping others. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Caden, do you believe in God the Father, the Lord and creator of heaven and earth? Yes. Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ who came to this earth, lived a life without sin, died on the cross in our place, and rose from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures? Yes. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, giver of life, who indwells and empowers all who believe? Caden, on the basis of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, we baptize you now in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in newness of life. 